Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and today is Bookshelf Crawl for November. So this is my TBR game where I assign numbers to my shelves, I roll a dice and whatever numbers come up, those are the shelves I pick a book from that month. I didn't play in October uh, while I was taking a little break, so I'm going to very, very quickly talk about uh, September. I'm not going to give myself a punishment this month even though I didn't finish all the books from September because it's Eurovision-a-thon this month and I want to enjoy that. Also it's been two months. Um, but at the end of August I did have to take a punishment which was to unhaul a book and I actually ended up unhauling one of the ones that I was meant to read in September uh, which was Champion of Fate by Kendar Blake. I started this in August and a couple of days into September I just decided that it wasn't for me. I was really struggling with the writing but also that there are a lot of flashbacks and it made me realize that I don't like flashbacks um, I don't like flashbacks as world building um, or as like they're good in small amounts for world building and character development but there was just a lot of them in here and I was like not really interested in learning about the world in that way. I wanted to see things and um, so yeah I decided to DNF it and unhaul it. So that's that. Next up um, of course I will show you the shelves and which numbers they have. I've done this slightly differently this month and the shelves are pretty much all the same except for I've already put away all of my new releases uh, that I bought in September, October. Did I say new releases? All of my new purchases, they're all already in the shelves so this is just a normal shelf now. And then I have my art shelf, my non-fiction shelf and my Kindle as 10, 11 and 12 respectively. So now that's done, let's talk about the rolls. Let's get into them. Um, I was feeling a little bit lazy this month and I didn't want to be bothered getting out um, my die. I just did a wheel this month. It was so much less effort and same result. So I just did the entire video and I realized that I didn't say at the start here that I'm only doing how many rolls am I doing? Five rolls. <laughs> I'm only doing five rolls this month uh, because Junior Eurovision Athon is November 1st to 16th and none of these books that I'm about to show you fit in with the readathon. So this is my second half of November. TBR basically. Let me put, got a little piece of paper with my numbers on so I'm just gonna put that there and we'll go into spin one. So that was a three and for that one I decided to pick The Trader Queen by Danielle L. Jensen. This is book two in the Bridge Kingdom series. Um, I read for the first one last year and loved it. It was one of my favorite books of the year and so I'm very much looking forward to getting to this one. 
This one isn't really too long, so I'm hoping that um, I will enjoy it as much as I did the first. I think I read the first in maybe a day. So here's hoping that this one is also kind of a quick read. On to spin number two. Which was a two. Love that. Nice and easy. Um, that is that is this shelf directly above this one. And for that one, I decided to go with Alone with You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. I loved the Atlas Six. And then at the start of the year, I tried to read books two and three. I well I did read book two, tried to read book three hated them. Was not a fan at all. And now I don't know if I'm gonna like any of hers. So I bought this one 2022 I think and here I am going to read it. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from that one. And then <laughs> roll three. Roll three was a four, which is the shelf of shame. So this one, I decided to pick Cassandra by Krista Wolf because I would already was planning to try and get through this. Uh, as I've said many times, I think at this point, um, I've read the actual novella and then I just have a bunch of essays at the back to read. So I thought if I put it on here, I would finally be able to push myself to read it and stop avoiding it. We'll see how it works out. Okay, roll number five, no, roll number four. was nine, which is this shelf here, my mass markets. And for that one, I decided to go with Stormswept by Deborah Martin, who is Sabrina Jeffries. Sabrina Jeffries is my favorite historical romance author. She's really the only historical romance author that I've been able to read in the last maybe year and a bit. I don't know. It used to be my absolute favorite genre, and now I'm just very much doing the romantic -y thing, so I just haven't been reading historical romance. But this is one of the oldest books on my TBR now, and it is a two-part series set in Wales, and I love Wales. I've never been, but I love Wales. <laughs> and um, I figured it was time to try these. I don't know how I'm going to go with them. We'll see. Okay, and finally roll six was an eight, which is this shelf here. This was the easiest pick because <laughs> I was looking at everything and I was like oh what am I going to pick from this shelf because like there's quite a few things on here that I could read but it's like mm, I don't know I don't know but when I actually sat down and looked at this shelf I was like well obviously I'm going to pick Bewitched by Laura Thalassa this is the first book in this series I love Laura Thalassa her Four Horsemen series, one of my absolute favorites. In fact, I would consider that series, especially the first book, Pestilence, that was the series that made me go, okay, maybe I will try fantasy romance. Because before then, I was kind of unsure. 
So I owe that series a lot. <laughs> this one is a um, witch magic school and all that sort of stuff. Um, very much looking forward to this one. Okay, so that is my little TBR for November. Here's hoping that um, because there's a few less of them, there's fewer of them than usual, that this might be okay. We'll see. I don't really know what to expect from this month and um, hopefully I at least enjoy some of these. I'd just settle for that at the moment. <laughs> so there they are. And that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you next time. Bye.